In the last video, we created a new blog via Astro from an Astro theme. It looks pretty awesome. Now, uh, except it's running on a local host. But now I want to put it as a static page on GitHub pages. And this is what this tutorial is about. So first, let's create a new repository under my name. It's going to be my GitHub page. And it's going to be my name.github.io. It will be the name, the registry. And then I'm going to create a registry. And then it should give me some instructions on how to do it. So I'm just going to go to my blog repo and then do git init. Add out of it, git commit. First commit. And then I'm just going to set the origin for the remote origin. Do this. And then push it. So this should push all of my blog file into this repo. There it is. It's called Blockster. Anyway, so we go to the tutorial website on Astro to see what we need to do. So it looks like the first step is to config this Astro config.mjs. So let's go to Astro config.mjs here. Now this is the MJS that comes with the block theme. But what we want to do is to change some of the variables to point it to our name. Mostly here. It needs to be the GitHub URL. So for us, it will be this. Change it to my name, .github.io. And now it says note here, if your repository is located at github.com, my name, my name .github.io, then we don't need to set a base parameter. Because I named my repo, my name, .github.io, then I don't need to set the base parameter. So the base will be empty, which is why I'm not setting it here. So what this does is this sets the base URL variable, which is the local host. But if it's a build mode, it will use the live URL, which is what we specified here. So this should work. And now what the next step is, is if you create a new folder, called GitHub Workflows. So it's going to publish our website using uh, GitHub Actions. So now we created a new folder, Workflows, and then we're going to do what we need to do. We need to create a file called deploy.yaml. So we're going to make a new file, .yaml, and then we're just going to copy paste this deploy script for the GitHub Action here. So what is this do? What this does is it builds a it automatically runs a build whenever you push something to the repo. And it's doing so with the Astro actions v1. This will magically do all the work for you to deploy everything to GitHub pages. The next uh, next step we need to do is go to the settings tab of my GitHub repo and then go to pages. And then under here in the source, we're going to change that to GitHub Action. Cool. And that should be saved. And then we're going to push our code. Commit added actions. We're going to push that. So if we do everything correctly, and then we're going to go to my name.github.io, it should show us our landing page. The blog should be up and running. So if we do everything correctly, here's a moment or two. Oh, it's 404. I want to see what's going on. So if we refresh, cool, cool. Let's see the workflow run. OK, so it looks like it's still deploying. It takes a second. It's in progress. And you can see the workflow. So if I go to the workflow file, it should show me the exact workflow that we set up. So why the reason is not building, the site is not found right now is because it's building. So it has GitHub Actions. is building up, it's starting up a new <coughs> virtual machine, and then it's running all the scripts to it. So it will take a few seconds for it to queue. So it's in queue and it's in progress right now. So as soon as it's done, we go to the uh, the workflow, you know, it should work. So it's doing build deployment. I don't know what this is, but it looks like it's done. Right? Okay. Oh, it looks like it's done. So if I go here, refresh right now. Oh, look! There's my blog. 
it's up on the internet right now. If you go to my name.github.io, you should see my block running. Looks like everything's working. Now that's very, very easy. And I love the developer experience doing all that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one.